And just amazing uh, how long people have been preparing for this. And one of the cities with the longest totality in the tri-state is over in McLeansboro, Illinois. There, it's four minutes and seven seconds. The crowds there are some of the biggest we've seen. We've got 44 News reporter Josh Myers. He's live in McLeansboro, Illinois. Josh, how's it going? Yeah, Griffin, Griffin, that's right. I'm here in McLeansboro, and I'm back to gloat about how we have the longest and best total solar eclipse at four minutes and seven seconds. That's a full minute longer than for the folks in Evansville, which is a real bummer for you guys. So last time I spoke with you guys, I showed you the hustle and bustle part of the Kiwanis Eclipse Festival here in McLeansboro. Now I'm showing you the peace and quiet. There's, we're here at the beautiful McLeansboro Lake. We can see people are out here on their kayaks. They're all over the shore. They're setting up tents. They're setting up hammocks. They have this beautiful unobstructed view of the blue sky and the sun as we are going into a partial solar eclipse. And because of how great these conditions are, we've got people coming from all over. And I'm here with one of those people, John Streisberger. John, can you tell me about where you're from? Yeah, I'm from the Los Angeles area. Came oh. in here uh, last night. Okay, John, uh, I see you've got a lot of stuff here behind you. Can you tell me a little bit about um, what you're going to be doing with all this? Yeah, I've got a bunch of different rigs set up. I've got a telescope that's kind of videoing the entire event start to finish. I've got my big still photography rig here that's going to be taking shots about every two minutes on super zoom. And then back in the back, I've got a kind of wide angle. It'll get this whole um, wide angle view of the eclipse that we can do in a, a time lapse sort of as the sun moves across the sky. Okay, thank you. Um, so tell me a little bit about what brought you here to McLeansboro. Well, first off, we're dead center. Where we're standing right now is like 900 feet or so from the exact center of the eclipse, which means we get the longest possible, what you mentioned, you know, four minutes and 7.2 seconds. And boy, those 0.2 seconds make a big difference, you know. So uh, it just gives us uh, a perfect view here with the lake and, and the unobstructed uh, access to the sky, and you kind of get a nice peaceful setting out of it too. So it was nice, not big crowds and, and just perfect for what I wanted to do. Uh, is this something that you've done before? Is this, you know, an important occasion to you for uh, any reason? Well, I did the eclipse in 2017 over in Missouri. That was the first one I'd ever done. Um, and this one was important because it's the last one I'm probably going to get to do because by the time the next one happens, I'm going to be in my mid-80s. I'm not sure I'm carrying all this gear all over the place. But uh, it's just, to me, it's just something that's so spectacular that, you know, it's just, it doesn't happen every day for sure. All right, well, thank you very much, John. I hope you uh, have a nice day. Thank you very much. All right, so stay tuned to 44 News to see the eclipse here in McLeansboro. It is going to be the longest and the best at 4 minutes and 7 seconds. Back to you guys in the studio.